then. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, right before we jump into our video, our content for today, uh, I just want to ask you a question. Are you waiting on God for anything in and concerning your life? I want you to just meditate on that for a moment. I'm going to give you a moment to get your Bibles, your notepad, your iPads. And we are coming right back with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. That means that I'm a good news carrier of his gospel. Uh, I'm here to encourage, to inspire, and to motivate you. And listen, it's absolutely wonderful being back with you. We uh, had to just re reroute some, some, um, I guess some, uh, what do you call the stuff? Um, I had to get my YouTube back up and running. Um, so we are back with that. I kind of had a brain freeze. So we have that. Uh, we got that all straightened out. So we will be back every, every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. sharing in the gospel of the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to give you a moment to get your Bibles, your notepads, your iPads. We are coming right back with the word of the Lord. God bless you. We'll be right back. As promised, we are right back and we are super excited to share with you what the Lord is sharing with us. Just before we jump into our content for today, I want to remind you that my book is available. Believers Believe and Believers Receive. That's right. It's available on Amazon. I want you to go ahead and click over there and get your copy today. It is also available at Books A Million on their website. Uh, it will bless you becoming what you believe. Um, I believe that we become what we believe. All right, so we are ready to go into the word of the Lord. Want to look at Isaiah uh, 41, I'm sorry, Isaiah 40, uh, verses 30 through 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 30 through 31. And the Bible says, even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those or they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Today, I want to ask you again, are you waiting on God, believing God, trusting God for anything? And what does it mean when we say that we're waiting on the Lord? What do we do when we're waiting on the Lord? Well, the Hebrew word for wait is quava, which is Q-A-V-A-H. And it means to bind together. So while we're waiting on the Lord, while we're going through our process, while we're believing, while we're trusting God, the Bible says, but they that wait. So it means that there um, are some guidelines for us to abide by. But they that wait on the Lord means that we're binding together. That's what that word quava means, that we bind together our faith with the word of God, with our hope, our trust, our belief in God. And we know that we're going to get an intended or an expected result. So the Bible says, they that wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. So while we're waiting, we're binding ourselves with the word of God. We're binding ourselves with the word of faith and we're binding our strength. Watch this with God's strength. And it means that he is going to give us a favorable result. So we have to wait on the Lord. Don't move outside of his word. Don't move outside of his will. Do not move outside of his purpose. But Isaiah the prophet said to wait on the Lord. And while we're waiting on us, we have a covenant with God. We have an assurance with God. He said that he would renew our strength. And I believe in this time, in this hour, in this season, that we need the strength of God to be renewed concerning our lives. Some of us are just, you know, depleted um, with our strength from going through COVID-19 and dealing with trying to acclimate to the new norm. 
Um, and so we, we, we need the strength of God. And so Isaiah comes and said, listen, I've got good news for you. Um, isn't it wonderful when the Lord gives us good news? Um, on yesterday, I just had just really gotten this revelation from the Lord about the strength of God. And we're going to be coming back talking about that. But right now, we need to get the strength of God binded with our strength so that we can be renewed. We can mount up. At the Bible said as the wings of an eagle, that means that we have the strength of God. So we're no longer leaning on our own strength, leaning on our own wisdom, leaning on our own power, but we are now leaning on the strength and the power of God. I tell you that word just has blessed me on this morning because I realize that it is not my strength, but I do need the strength of the Lord. And the Bible says that when we wait on him, when we wait, on him and we are of being, being of good courage the bible said that he will renew our strength so i want to encourage you on the day to just wait on the lord amen he already has the answer the the answer is already in the word of the lord and i'm really learning in this season of my life that the word of god really does come alive I have been saying that for years, but I am seeing God's word come alive, alive concerning my life, come alive concerning, concerning Apostle Chris's life. I've seen his word come alive concerning King's Court Ministries and those that are connected with us. So I bless God that we have learned to wait on the Lord. While we're waiting, we're praising him. While we're waiting, we're blessing him. While we're waiting, we're trusting him. But we understand that as believers, there is a favorable outcome. The favor of God is all on our lives while we wait. And knowing that we have God's favor released on our lives, it gives us hope. It gives us confidence that everything is already worked out. It's already all right. I want you to be encouraged on today. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Be of good strength knowing that God is mounting us up. He didn't say that he was tearing us down, but he said he was mounting us up with his strength. And I'm telling you, if we need anything on the day, we need the strength of the Lord. Well, you already know. I am Apostle Esther Sanchez. I am an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, a good news carrier here to encourage, to inspire, to motivate you, to keep on keeping on. Keep holding on to your faith. Don't let go of your faith. You can let go of some things, but whatever you do as a believer, don't let go of your faith. The Bible says that our faith grows from glory to glory. I'm super excited about that on today. It's great being back with you. We are here every Monday through Friday with the good news message, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to, as always, have an amazing day. Uh, check out my videos. My goodness, we have so many awesome videos available to encourage, to inspire, and to motivate you. So I want to encourage you to go ahead and go through my archives. Find something that will inspire your heart. Find something that will carry you through your day. Also, amen for tangibility purposes. My book is available. Believers believe and believers receive. That's right. It's available at amazon.com as well as books a million. Um, if you inbox me, message me on Facebook, I can uh, go ahead and autograph your copy and we'll just go ahead and let you know what the, the shipping and handling will be for that. But you can get your autograph, your signed copy of this book that is fresh and hot off the press. Believers believe and believers receive. Have an amazing day. We will be back on tomorrow. Again, talking about the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.